students welcome back to my channel today in this session we are going to complete uh, we are going to learn what are the types of angles how the angles are formed what are the oh, instrument you can use to measure angles okay so in the previous video i told you that there are the basic three types of angles which you are going to learn in this fourth standard so first one is a right angle acute angle and obtuse angle okay now we'll see in your textbook uh, your textbook max uh, fourth standard maharashtra state board on page number 2 right angle obtuse angle and acute angle is given so we see a right angle between two adjacent sides of a window you must be sitting in the room if you have a look around yourself there is a window if there is a window just have a look around it so a window makes a right angle how when two adjacent sides of a window joins at one point it makes a right angle so right angle is 90 degrees right angle always makes 90 degrees two adjacent side of a book is a right angle two adjacent sides sides of a book you know this is the side of a book okay you can see these are the sides of the books now this is one vertical line this is one horizontal line meeting at this side okay this side forms an angle so this book consists of a right angle okay understood right angle is always 90 degrees in a clock at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock a minute hand and hour hand are at right angle to each other okay so you can see this on this watch the hour hand is on 3 o'clock and the minute hand is on 12 o'clock it forms a right angle and i told you this right angle is of 90 degrees right angle is of 90 degrees if for example if we bring this as hand here 9 o'clock and this uh minute hand will be on 12 o'clock then also it forms a right angle so right angle is always 90 degrees okay students understood what is right angle right angle is always of 90 degrees in a picture alongside there is a right angle between two blades of a scissor okay now see this this is a scissor i am holding in my hand and will make a right angle with this scissor see one arm of this scissor this is one arm okay and this is another arm it forms of a 90 degrees okay here it is a 90 degrees you can see 90 degrees understood see if i hold like this okay this forms a 90 degrees so 90 degrees is always a right angle okay great then see the next angle as we reduce the distance between the two tips of the blade little by little the angle between the blade grows smaller than the right angle the angle which is smaller than a right angle smaller than this right angle is a 90 degrees right angle is equal to 90 degrees if one arm of the 90 degrees if one arm of the scissor if it reduces little by little if it reduces little by little the distance between these two arms reduces it becomes smaller okay it becomes less so it forms an acute angle a angle which is smaller than 90 degrees smaller than a uh, right angle is formed a acute angle so it is a smaller angle which is less than 90 degrees is a acute angle can you see beta here okay great now we go to the third angle but as we increase the distance between the tips of the blade and the angle between the blades grow bigger than a right angle the angle that is bigger than a right angle is called a obtuse angle okay so you know that 
नाइन्टी डिग्रीज मीन्स राइट एंगल लेस दैन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज लेस दैन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज मीन्स अक्यूट एंगल नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑप्टिज एंगल इट इज वेरी सिंपल द एंगल विच इज ग्रेटर दैन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज विच इज ग्रेटर दैन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज इज अ ऑप्टिज एंगल सी इफ आई इंक्रीज द ब्लेड आर्म्स ऑफ द ब्लेड आई इफ आई ओपन इट वाइड वाइडली सो दिस फॉर्म्स एन ऑप्टिज एंगल एन एंगल विच इज ग्रेटर दैन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज फॉर्म्स अ ऑप्टिज एंगल सो ऑप्टिज एंगल इज अ मोर देन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज एंड लेस देन वन एटी डिग्रीज वन एटी डिग्रीज मीन स्ट्रेट एंगल सो द एंगल विच इज मोर देन नाइन्टी डिग्रीज एंड लेस देन वन एटी डिग्रीज इज कॉल्ड अ बिगर एंगल आर अ ऑप्टिज एंगल वॉट इज इज कॉल्ड ऑप्टिज एंगल सो टू मेजर द एंगल और टू ड्रॉ द एंगल वी यूज दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई नो दैट एवरीबडी यूज टू कॉल इट एज अ डी स्केल बट माई डियर स्टूडेंट दिस डी स्केल इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोट्रैक्टर ओके ऑन दिस प्रोट्रैक्टर देर आर टू स्केल्स वन इज इन साइड एंड वन इज आउट साइड सो इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एटी एंड फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑल्सो इट स्टार्ट टू वन एटी इफ द एंगल इज ऑन वन एटी डिग्रीज इट इज अ स्ट्रेट एंगल इफ द एंगल इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू मेजर अ नाइन्टी डिग्रीज एंगल सो पुट दिस डी स्केल ऑन अ piece of paper then draw from the center put a point okay then your zero and this is a right angle right angle is always 90 degrees like this you have to join the rays of the line so it is of 90 degrees so angle is always measured in degrees that you will learn in your higher classes so if if i draw two line segments okay line segments which intersect sets at one point okay so these two line segments form forms a right angle okay right angle so right angle is always 90 degrees if i draw if i draw two uh, line segments and if the opening of the line is smaller than 90 degrees then it forms an acute angle if the arms of two the arms the opening of two arms are less than 90 degrees or less smaller angle is an acute angle if the arms of a line segment is more than 90 degrees is an obtuse angle okay you can make an angle with your arm also okay see with your elbow this is a right angle this is a right angle okay you can see this is a right angle if i reduce the arm of one uh, length of my arm then it becomes a acute angle if i widely open it then it becomes a obtuse angle okay understood so right angle is always 90 degrees acute angle is a small angle which is which is smaller than 90 degrees is a acute angle uh, angle which is more than or greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is a obtuse angle so understood students great so in the next video i'll go through with the next topic for today's session thank you and i hope i request everybody to please like share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can have my notification of the new video before thank you see you in the next video